I said, that's, what surprises me is more people don't think about it like this. Whether you play the game or not, when you're in high school and you're the best player on that team, like who else is on your team? Who, who's on the opposing side of her? Maybe playing with the schools they play with, there might be another player that's, you know, really good college player or might make it into the NBA, but that's one. It's just basically one-on-one. Now, you get into college. Now, like I said, there's five people on a team that's starting and playing. Not mm-hmm. all five of them are going to be pro. And then you mm-hmm. go to the pros, everybody's a pro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? There's a difference between looking good when there's one or two NBA prospects or college prospects to look good or look better than them, but put that person by himself that's an NBA prospect facing five other professional players. You're not going to look as good. Yeah. No, I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a huge jump from college to the NBA, man. There's a three year learning curve for 90% of the people in there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There, there's at least two. We at least two. Like, well, you don't, you don't really jump off to your third year. Well, the sets was, are different. The rules are different. The time is it's, different. There's it's, it's, less games. Know, I mean, play. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's everything. a huge difference. But that's what the NBA has always, you know, contested that that's why they never wanted to grab high school players, you know, because of that, because they understood, you know, that they wanted men in the league and they wanted Mm -hmm. people that were skilled and developed.